I'm going to try not to be long on this video, but this past week I posted a video titled Kwame Brown and Angela Stanton King Speaks Out on the News. And I gave props to Kwame Brown for being out there. And I mentioned in that video that it was good to see brothers come from behind a computer screen because there's so many people that love to get behind a computer screen. They get on social media and they love to just brag and talk. All they do is talk, 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 but never have the heart or the courage to actually work in the community. When I said that, I knew that some troll was going to respond to me. And of course, like always, that troll responded. And I, respe I respect, I highly respect people that's not afraid to voice their concerns or ask questions, but yet do it in a respectful way. So I must give this troll some props because they were respectful when they had asked the question. It's just like people on social media that love to go after uh, people like uh, Polite and uh, Dr. Umar Johnson and Sonetta and people that's constantly taking up money. And they're concerned about money that other people donate, but they themselves never donate money. They themselves never contribute, but they're concerned about Tariq Nasheed's um, his, his project that he's got going on. They're so concerned about what other people are doing. They're concerned about the money that was donated to Dr. Umar Johnson. And they're calling him a scam. They're so concerned about Tariq Tashid's, uh gallery. But yet, they don't go in their pockets and contribute. But yet, they always have an opinion on those people that are actually out there working. So this troll responded and said, and I say that respectfully. The troll responded and said, fearless, do you come from behind the computer screen? And my question, of course, is yes. I've actually made videos in the past, especially under my old channel before it was deleted. And I posted videos of actually doing things in the community. Dealing with. Uh, gang members, going to school, speaking. Yes, I've dealt and I've worked in the community. I've, I've done evangelism in the community. I went out and, and I've done outreach ministries. And if you listen to my videos, sometime, every now and again, I may speak on some things that I've done. Just as an example, using that as an example of whatever topic I'm speaking on. And I'll share some information. But I'm not a person that likes to brag and to boast. I'm not the kind of person that, that, that do things just to get a pat on the back from the public. I don't do things to be praised by men. Because the Bible clearly says that y'all see me in secret. And he reward me openly. See, the most high sees what you do in secret. You don't have to boast and brag and put out on Front Street what you're doing. And this is no shot at Kwame Brown, but the only thing I have against Kwame Brown is the fact that he feels that he always have to broadcast what he do. Just like with a sneaker drive, he had to go to the media. He had to have camera footage. He had to show all the things and I understand when you got people that's donating to you, you want to let those people know that, look, I'm not just taking your stuff. I have your stuff right here. This is what I'm doing. This is the receipts. But if your heart is sincere and if you have people that's backing you, that have that type of confidence in you to donate to you, whatever it is, it could be sneakers, it could be monetary, it could be clothing, it could be food, what have you. I wouldn't really recommend food because you know, you got some very diabolical people out there that would do things to food and then it comes back on you. 
So in many cases, in most cases, people prefer monetary. And yes, there are people that do scam out there. But you have to watch out for that. See, so myself personally, I've never been a person to do things to be seen of men or to be praised of men. I don't like broadcasting what I do because the most high sees me in secret. And he rewards me openly. Now, I have a scripture that I want to read, and I'm not going to be on this too long. And the scripture is taken from the book of Matthew, the sixth chapter, reading the first to the seventh verse, and it reads as follows. Take heed that ye do not your arms, your arms before men to be seen of them. Otherwise, ye have no reward of your father, which is in heaven. I'm going to read that first verse again. Take heed that ye do not your alms before men, that to be seen of them. Otherwise, ye have no reward of your father, which is in heaven. The second verse says, Therefore, when thou doest thine alms, in other words, when you give your gifts, do not sound a trumpet before thee, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may be, that they may have glory of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. So their reward is the attention that they get from men. Their reward is the pat on the back. I give you props, brother. I pat you on the back, brother. More people should do this, brother. You're a good man, brother. That's your reward. So don't expect a reward from the Most High when you do things to be seen of men. Because that's what motivates you. That's your driving force is to see to allow people to see what you do and to praise you for what you do. The third verse says but when thou doest but when thou doest alms let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth that thine alms a l m s may be in secret and thy father which seeth in secret himself shall reward thee openly. You ever see these people that that have a giving spirit? They're always giving. They give freely. They don't expect it back. They just give it from their heart. They don't go back and talk about what they gave you. It don't come back in the future. Remember I did this for you. Remember I donated this to you. Remember I did this. Remember I did this. Remember I gave this. They don't do it. They give it from their heart. Once they give it, they give it. So even if you two fall out, you don't ever have to worry about that person coming back saying, this is what I did for you. Remember what I did for you. See? So you do your giving in secret. You don't do it to be to broadcast or get praise from humans. See, they have the reward by having the pat on the back. The fifth verse again. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are. For they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the street that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. You ever see these people in church? And you also see them standing on the street corners and especially the ones in the church. And they get up there and they pray. Uh, the pastor asks them to say a prayer, you know, a short prayer. And then they got to go for two hours and 
Uh, they got to do the humma mama mama hook em a shanda skidiosis and mama 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 ooh thank you lord oh yes lord mm, lord and mm, lord and they sucking their teeth and sounding like they having sex and all this especially the women and they're doing this in church and their hands is lifted up and you know and they're sweating and carrying on and and then you got the people in the congregation that's looking at them saying like oh that sister is such anointing she's such an inspiration Look at her. She really loves the Lord. That's a blessed sister or that's a blessed brother. That person is doing that to receive praise of men. But the Bible says they have their reward. Their reward is the praise that you get from men. But then you have those people that do their stuff in secret. They give their gifts in secret. They pray in secret. And then you always see this person blessed. This person always appeared to have and not lack. They all they never struggle. And if they do struggle, you don't see it. Because the Most High is always making a way. They're always preparing a path. There's a scripture that says, cast your bread upon the waters. And in many days, it'll return to you. So whatever you put out, it comes back to you. Whenever you give or donate from your heart, whatever gifts you give from your heart, the most high will reward you and it will come back to you. My favorite script in the Bible, where David says, I once was a young man and now I'm old, yet I've not seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread. So not only the most high would reward you, but he would also reward your children because of you. Because of your faithfulness. Because of you praying and giving not to be seen of men or to be praised of men. In church, we call that vain glory. You're doing it for vain glory. You're doing it for a pat on the back. But the Bible says that pat on the back is your reward. That person speaking well of you, that's your reward. So don't expect anything from the Most High. The sixth verse says, But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet. Now, that's not referring to a physical closet. There are people, however, that do have a praying spot, a praying closet where they prepare it to pray. But that closet that it's referring to is the closet of your heart. Go within yourself and you pray to the Most High. It says, but when thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet. And when thou hast shut thy door, in other words, you block everything out around you. You're aware, you are alert, but you block everything else around you. You block it out. And when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy father, which is in secret. And thy father, which seeth in secret, shall reward thee openly. So the Most High sees all things, even the deep things, the hidden things of your heart. So he knows your motive and intention. He knows those that genuinely love him and worship him and trust him. The ones that are not sincere are the tightwads, like Ananias and Sapphira, if you're familiar with that. How they held back, they held, clung tight to it. So, but when thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet. 
And when thou hast shut the door, pray to thy father which is in secret. And thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. The seventh and the final verse says, But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions. That's those people that's always repeating things. You're praying just to make it appear that you have a lot to say and that your prayer goes forever and ever and ever and you keep repeating the same things over and over or, or just to make it appear that you have a lot to say. It says, but when, they, but when you pray, use not vain. It's all in vain. Use not vain repetition as the heathen do. For they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. You think the Most High hears you because you have so much to say. You think the Most High hears you because you pray for an hour, sweating, falling asleep, your nose running, you're crying, you're whimpering. But the Most High, He knows the motive and intention of your heart. The Bible says, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. See, so to go back to the original comment and question. Yes, I come from behind a computer screen. But I'm not the kind of person that shows off what I do. Every now and then I may give a testimony or give reference, but there's not too many times you're going to see me broadcasting what I do. You won't see it because I'm not doing it to be seen of men. I'm not doing it to receive praise of men. I care less what people say, especially people that won't even show their face. They pretend to be so concerned, but yet they hide themselves. They don't give, but they seem to be more concerned about your pocket. They're counting your pockets. They're watching your pockets. And it bothers them when they see the Most High blessing you. See, the Most High uses men to bless you as well. You have those that have and you have that don't have. But when you choose to contribute or to give a gift or a blessing, you don't do it to receive anything in return and you don't do it to receive praise from men. You do it secretly, and the Most High that seeth in secret rewards you openly. You will be openly blessed so that when people see you, they will call you blessed. And I'll speak on that in another video because there is a scripture that makes reference to people calling you blessed. They will see the blessings of the Most High on you. So, feedback. Tell me what you think. Until next time, I'm fearless.